Hey there, this is Kamal. So today we're gonna see how to create a specific editor using TinyMC. So let's get this started. So before going further, let's first understand what is specific. So specific stands for what you see is what you get. So with that, what it means is that we are going to create a text editor where you can just type in whatever you want and then you can make changes to it directly then and there. And that is similar to the Microsoft Word or Google Docs that you generally use to create documents. And the main benefit of these editors is that whatever is being typed in in their content area, automatically that will be converted into the HTML tags as well. So let's now see how to integrate that into your own website. So open your favorite browser and type in tinymc. Then open the first link. You'll be redirected to tiny.cloud. And here there's actually three ways that you can use to integrate this into your own website. The first one is to create a custom build. Okay, so click on products and click on get tinymce here click on build customizer for tinymce4 and select all the things that you want to use inside your text editor and once you're done selecting it click on download that's the first way the second way is to create a personalized skin for your own tinymce editor so the way that you can do that so click on skin creator for tinymce4 and here whatever changes you make on the left hand side will be reflected on the right hand side so all of these are the icons and tabs that you generally use inside the editor. So by changing the colors here, automatically the colors and font on this side will be changed as well. So once you're done editing and creating your own custom theme, click on download and then you can use that in your own website by using the script tag and giving the source location as the tiny MC that you have downloaded. And the third and easiest way to do this is to generate an API key and connect to their online servers. So the way that you can do that is first you have to create an account. So click on create account, then give your email address, then a password for that, then click on continue, then fill in these details. So here you have to give the domain name of the project that you're going to use this for. If you don't have a personal domain right now, you can just type in localhost. Then click on create API key. So here is the API key integrated into the script tag. So just copy the script tag and paste it in your own website. So now let's test this. Okay, so I have a file named as index.html and I have the basic boiler template of a HTML file. So now about the title, paste what you have just copied and now save it. So the way that you can actually use tinyMC inside your own website is that you're going to first create a text area inside the body and then you're going to type a script tag inside the head section indicating to the API key that you want to change this text area into their own editor. So you're going to type a selector and you're going to give the ID of this particular text area. Then after it has been executed, automatically this text area will be replaced with the editor that they have created. So now let's create a text area. Let's give an ID for that as let's say now go to the tiny MC page and click on products and go to the documentation section here. Click on quick start, scroll down. And as you can see here, you have a script tag, right? So copy that and paste it below the script tag that we had previously. Now change the selector from my text area to my editor and save it. So now let's open this using live server. So as you can see here, this is a text area that we had created. So now let's type in something. Let's say you want to highlight this, select that and click on bold and automatically that will be done. So that's how you create a specific text editor using tinyMC. So that's it for this video. If you have liked what you watched till now, then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.